Today I'm using two different Magnum pellet rifles, both in 22 caliber. Um, the Hotson Sniper Mod 125 isn't quite broke in yet. That's uh, relatively new to me. I do have uh, the 25, which is newer. But this one here is the 22 version in the sniper version, which means it does have the uh, the uh, sound suppressor at the end. It also has this rubberized uh, uh, parts on the handle here and up here in place of checkering. Uh, it comes with a Quattro uh, adjustable trigger, fiber optic front and rear sights. It, and on the rear, it's adjustable for uh, windage and elevation. It comes with a 3 to 9 by 32 Optima scope, um, second focal plane with uh, adjustable uh, eye objective. Uh, has a rubber butt pad with uh, three inserts to make it longer if anybody wants to make it longer. Has an automatic safety right here. Comes with a shock absorber system uh, on in the rifle. It uh, has a 11 millimeter or 20 millimeter uh, a Picatinny or dovetail um, scope rail. Um, I put a different scope uh, on it and I put a different um, scope mount rail, sc scope mount on it because uh, I didn't like the one uh, that it came with. I like this one a little bit better, but the other one's fine. And the other rifle is the Gamma Magnum Swarm. I've had this for a while. Also has a sound suppressor at the end. Uh, comes with a 10-shot magazine. And when it's cocked, it automatically loads the next one. Um, and then um, it comes with a 3 to 9 by 40 scope, I think. Uh, mine broke a couple of weeks ago after about three years of use. So I put a, a used... Uh, one that I have a six to twenty-four by fifty uh, uh, adjustable objective uh, with illuminated uh, uh, reticle, um, and, uh, adjustable eye objective or eye relief, whatever you want to call it, has a, a really nice adjustable trigger on it. Recoil reducing rail has a nice uh, butt pad on it and these uh, inserts can be removed to make it even softer uh, has adjustable uh, cheek piece the hot sun has adjustable cheek piece um, this has a thumb hole stock on this one on the gamo uh, the gamo is um, advertised at 6.6 .6 pounds and um, 26.6 foot-pounds of energy. The Hot Sun uh, Mod 125 is advertised at about somewhere close to 31 to 32 foot-pounds of energy. Um, weighs between 9 and 10 pounds. Both of those are without the scope. Some of the sites for Hot Sun will say 9 pounds, some will say 10 pounds. I'm going by 9 pounds. Um, the Hot Sun does have... Uh, the attachments to put the sling. Uh, the gamo doesn't. Uh, but, you know, somebody could add that feature to the gun. Um, I was shooting uh, at 25 yards. With the uh, gamo, I use the Terminator pellets because it does pretty good with those usually. And with the hot sun, I use the, uh, the Jumbo Heavy Diablos. And it's not really pellet picky on this one. Um, but you know they, they did pretty good in there usually and so I did a 25 yard um, five shot groups with each and then I did a 12 yard penetration test on the board right in front of me and I used uh, the JSB exact jumbo heavies 18.13 grain in both rifles for that so I'll walk over there and show you the penetration test uh, the, the one on the right would be um, with the um, 
pots on, and the one on the left would be with the gamma. Okay, so here's with uh, the hot sun, and here's with the gamma. Looks like the gamma had a more damage on the exit right here than the hot sun did. Uh, it looks like uh, there might be more power coming out of that gamma than the hot sun does. I sent the gamma back, excuse me, I sent the hot sun back to Hot Sun USA. Uh, stating that it was underpowered and they sent it back to me Stating oh it functions properly. That's not addressing the power issue, but you know If they want to send it back to me Saying that it functions properly. I'm going to put videos out there about how it's underpowered All right, so that's their advertising they want from me by sending it back to me and not addressing the issue I sent them an email last week about uh, them not addressing the power issue and normally they respond right away they haven't responded to me in a week so that's on them that's since last Friday so looks to me as if the gamma may have a little more power than this hot sign all right now I'll show you the the groups down here the five shot groups at 25 yards Okay, so the group on the left is the hot sun, right here. All right, and you can see that that's just uh, probably seven eighths of an inch group right there. Um, and then the gamma, it looks like it's about, I don't know, maybe one and a quarter inch group right there to there. Maybe somewhere close to that. Looks like the hole's right there. So maybe just over a one inch group. So they're both close. The hot sun did group better. This is with the JSBs and this is with the H&N uh, Terminators. Uh, they're both close enough, good enough. I'm happy with that. So what, what this uh, shooting demonstration um, goes to show is sometimes it's not always the power that's important, it's the accuracy which is more important than the power usually, but the power is important as well. Accuracy, safety, those things are, uh, come ahead of uh, power for me. So the Hotson Mod 125, this one is underpowered, functions properly as Hotson, uh, sent me and what they stated when they tested the rifle. Uh, the gamma uh, uh, functions properly and has the power that it's supposed to have. Um, I like both of them. Um, normally they both retail over 300 bucks and I bought both of these for close to $200 each. I bought the gamma refurbished and I bought the Hot Sun um, at a discount price on Amazon. Uh, not the one that I ordered, but I kept it. All right, that's it. So I like the sound suppressors on them. I like the adjustable triggers. I like that Hot Sun has a sling mount and it also has, um, uh, has the iron sights. So I don't have to use a scope on it and I like the butt pads on them and I like the grips on them I like the, the hot sun grip and the way uh, my hand fits on the rifle better on the hot sun than I do on the gamma but hey you know uh, and in a given day I'd take either one of them both great rifles